Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I have some new products that I wanna try. Not everything is new, but there's some products that I wanna try. Um, so I wanna try um, products from Beauty Bakery. They're a black owned brand. And as I said before, I'm trying to, you know, start purchasing from black owned um, makeup brands. I have Patrick Ta, I have Fenty, I have Danessa Marricks. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So um, I really wanted to try their, from Beauty Bakery, their Insta Bake Aqua Foundation. Now I got this during the June, Juneteenth um, sale. I have it in the shade 311W. I got this, the concealer and the powder. Now with the foundation, I was trying to get the shade, cause this looked a little dark. I was trying to get the shade, the shade that was one shade lighter than this. I. It was sold out. I guess it's a very popular shade. And I even went to the Ulta website and it was sold out on Ulta as well. So I figured, and I, I think their packaging is um, really cute. So I figured I'll just um, try the 311W. So I primed with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Oh, this is very liquidy and it looks, dark and it looks a little red but you know what I prefer my foundation to be a little dark than red so let's go ahead and start putting it on yeah it's definitely cool that was a very um interesting smell it smells like some type of um it smells like some type of face lotion, maybe. Okay. Um, it's not an exact match, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be because my chest looks a little, I'm more of like on the goldenish, yellowish, kind of neutralish <laughs> um, skin tone, but um, Okay, this feels like really nice. I looked at a few reviews and um, people seem to like it a lot. It seems super dewy. Like I'm putting it on and it is really dewy. Like, I feel like I would have to like powder this down, but I do like, um, the coverage is not bad at all. I think it looks pretty on my skin. And the color is not bad. All right, so for the concealer, just like, um, ooh, I have a little <laughs> itch here. Um, for the concealer, just like the foundation, I was trying to get the shade that was a little lighter than this. And I ended up with, 500 and this is des dissertation or something I think it's called so I'm now just opening these I didn't swatch it or anything so this is what the concealer looks like looks a little I like a brighter under eye but let's see because I know the powder seem light so maybe that would brighten up my under eye all right so I have to bring my mirror closer here. Okay. Oh wow, this is okay. This this is not the color <laughs> I would choose for a concealer. It's very cool. It looks almost orange. So I'm hoping the light powder that I purchased, the baking powder brighten it up because this is more of almost like a corrector shade this is why i didn't want this color but the color i wanted was sold out i guess that's a popular color as well but i i do like the consistency of this it feels very creamy and very nice seem to be the foundation to me is not full coverage seemed like a full medium I do like the way it looks. Okay, this is not doing any type of brightening for me, at least from what I can see in my mirror. Doesn't look like it is. All right, so it's super easy to blend out. I'm just thinking if this shade were lighter, it would look a lot better because 
I like the way it's um, blending out and I like the way it's I like the way it's looking like when I blend it out here it looks super pretty I just wish it were lighter so eventually well let's see how it wears but eventually I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep checking back for the shade that I really wanted and yeah all right so I went ahead and I cream contoured with my Fenty cheeks out um cream bronzer in the shade chocolate and I wish the concealer was a little lighter because I love it it looks so pretty love I like the foundation a lot but the concealer I definitely like the concealer more but they're they're both very pretty I mean I can handle the foundation being a little more cooler um than I would like but I think my my skin looks nice. It's it's a nice foundation. And it was reasonably priced. I don't remember the exact price, but I know it wasn't anything astronomical. I think it's cheaper. I think it was cheaper than like a uh, MAC. But I am definitely feeling the concealer. All right. So um, I got the baking powder. The packaging is so adorable. I mean, I've always heard about the packaging. It mean it looks just like how, like a flower pack. And I got the shade caramel. So hope and um, I opened this to look at it when it came. So hopefully, oh, I ripped it. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to actually keep this. I think it's so cute. So this is the powder, and. Yes, I got the shade Caramel. So this looks a little light. It reminds me of the Sasha Buttercup powder. I still have that powder, but I, I don't know. I don't reach for that powder. So I'm hoping that um, this kind of brighten up my under eye because I feel like my under eye and my face look like it's the same color. And I prefer it, my under eye to be a little brighter than the actual foundation. All right, so... I'm gonna use the sifter and pour some into, okay, this may neutralize it. This is like super yellow. And let's see how this works out. I'm so used to using like my Pat McGrath or my Charlotte um, Tilbury now. This seemed to be like so extra, <laughs> but okay. It definitely brightened my under eye so that's a good thing all right and I'm also putting some on my eye for my eyes okay. so I'm gonna start doing my eye I'm gonna do a quick eye look and I'm gonna be using this shade here called magma then I'm gonna be using this shade alloy and I'll put the shade silk in my tear duct and on my brow bone so let's just um jump into it i'm not going to be doing a lot of um talking and i'm only going to do like one eye and then we'll finish up with the face And I have a video when I reviewed um, this palette up on my channel right now. So you guys can check it out. All right, so I'm back with lashes and liner on. And um, you guys know I'm already obsessed with this palette, but the one shade, the shade that I used on my lid, it's called Alloy, the shade right here. If you own this palette, play with Alloy. It, 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 Alloy is going to shock you. It's, it's very unexpected. Like the, the color that you get in the payoff. So pretty. But um, I love this foundation and this concealer. So now the foundation is fine. The color, I think it's fine. I think it looks very pretty on my skin. But I need 
a lighter shade in the concealer and it's gonna be I'm gonna stalk that website until they restock it because I want to try the concealer is really really good all right so now moving on to the face I bought these um, Patrick Ta I've never purchased anything from him and when I saw they were launching these I figured you know what this would be a good time and these are cream powder duos what's the exact name these are I'll list it in the description box but it's um cream powder duos now I got two shades I'm gonna try both on each cheek I got she's so LA this is like a nude kind of brown shade I haven't opened these either and this is what is this called do we know her now when I saw this because I think this definitely um, tells you what color is in here I thought it was on the side to me looked orange now it's looking a bit pink so I'm a little worried I wanted to just open it on camera this is what the packaging looks like looks very similar to the Tom Ford packaging I think it's very pretty looks very sophisticated and um, expensive so oh how do you open this oh it opens from the back you would think it, look at that you would think it kind of I had to pull the back down anyway this is what the sh it looks like and this part look as though like kind of like sweat because it looks like it has a little patch and there's a little cover covering the cream and to me this is not the deep orange that I thought it would be and this one is the nude colored one and this is she's so LA and let me open from the back because that's how it's it opens now I can get this one open I don't like it oh, okay well and this one's the same thing look as though it's kind of like moisture looks as though it's been swatched anyway so this is what this one looks like and looking at it now it looks like okay but let's go ahead so we're gonna start out with this part the cream version first so I didn't put any powder on my on my face as you can see because I want to use the cream I'm gonna go what is this white stuff on it oh that's some it's some kind of plastic all right so hmm, I don't know this is what it's swatched like on my hand oh this is like I'm already regretting this but let's see that it's very sheer and very nude so let's let's put it on the cheek see what's good uh, well I could have definitely passed on this I don't even know what to say about this this feels just like oily Vaseline with no color and what the hell what the hell what is this this is when you fast and you like too much makeup <laughs> this is what happens and now I'm gonna go over top of that with the powder part which I don't have any hope for let's watch that I mean the packaging and stuff is cute but okay that showed up a little bit it's like a peachy kind of nudish color but uh, right now I'm like blah using one of my Sonia G brushes put it on top of that and okay if you were if you were looking at these especially this color and your my skin tone I'm NC50 and Mac save your coins I could have taken some Vaseline and put it on my cheek okay so the other one is called do we know her this is the one that I thought had a little bit more orange it's just looking very kind of pinkish I mean I don't mind pink but I was expecting more of an orange let's swatch this one see I'm not flipping you guys off but this looks pink to me Ooh, I, oh lord oh geez it gets worse I am so disappointed in these guys like Maybe if you're of a light skin tone or something, because this is not it. 
And I, I own stuff like this, like the Natasha Denona stuff from her last palette, but there was more of like an oomph to it. This is just like pink Vaseline. You know, I, I hate like bashing products, but I spent my hard on coins, so I have to be honest. Let's use that same brush and go, go in with this part. I think these are gonna be returned. I'm gonna find some way to return them. I hate returning stuff. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> I do not like this. If you guys are looking at this, you come across my video for a review, listen up. Save your coins. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Fenty powder like I would usually do. And um, keep it moving, because this is not it. I'm kind of pissed. What the hell was that? Patrick Ta. I might not know some him. <laughs> if it's a face thing or whatever, because this, and this ain't for black people, sorry. No <sighs> All right, moving on from that disaster. I'm gonna bronze up with my Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer in the shade Deep. I have these, um, I have the songs from TikTok stuck in my head. Don't go on TikTok. I'll be up all hours of the morning just sliding on TikTok. Like, what the hell? It's very addictive. I mean, I don't do anything on it. I just watch other people. Like, you see so many things, inspirational things, crazy things, funny things. It's such an addictive app. Like, a lot of times, because my app would be Instagram and stuff. Now I just sit there. And sometimes I sit there with my phone plugged in and I'm just watching TikTok. <laughs> laughing out loud. All the dances and I mean let's keep it real I think we all adults here <laughs> watching this video the hot men like what the hell all the hot men are in TikTok if you're a single TikTok is for you all the hot men is on there <laughs> that's all I can say and I'm gonna leave it right there doing all the dances they have like 12 packs and oh, like, oh my god What's going on here? Anywho, so I'm gonna go ahead now and set my face and I'll be back with highlighter. All right, so now for highlighter, I'm going in with the Vanessa Myricks Light Work 2 palette. I own Light Work 1. You get so much product and this is like 50 something dollars after tax. The plastic went flying. This is what it looks like. I think it's so stunning so dark girl friendly what an amazing palette i like i said i have light work one let me just swatch a few so you guys can see i bought look at these look at these shades like they're golden and pigmented and just so pretty and look at this beautiful bronze gorgeous gorgeous shade this can be you can use this as eyeshadow as well look at that they're so pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and play with this and I'm using this brush from Sonia G. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about um, these. Hmm. Now when I'm looking at the Patrick Ta, I mean, they're not worth the money. I still wouldn't like, oh, you have to rush out and buy it. But now that it's kind of settling on my face, this side doesn't look bad. The side with the, the pinky part doesn't look too bad. Gave me a glow. All right, so I'm going to use this one. It's called Cinnamon Sugar, the center. And I'll use this on top. And I'm going to go ham because I'm not going anywhere. Oh, my God. Okay. That's a little too ham. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to go in with my beauty blender and get that. <laughs> it's a lot. And then I'll take cappuccino. Oh, this palette is so pretty. I'll take cappuccino on the other side. Oh my god, I'm barely tapping my brush. These are so pigmented. Like, you're gonna be beaming. Somebody said to me, I wrote something in one of my comments about being seen from the moon. That had me just literally like laughing out loud. It was hysterical. All right, so now for the lips. I purchased two of the Fenty Slip Shine lipsticks. 
And what I purchased that stuff from Pat Patrick Ta. Ambulance is going by. I purchased one of his lipsticks as well. I purchased the Nuda shade. I think there were four, if I'm not mistaken. And this is called Oshi Single. For the Fenty, I got number four and number five. Number five is glazed and um, number four is makeout break. Now these are pretty much like a lip balm, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go in with the nudest looking one, which is 04 Makeout Break. I'm already wearing my ColourPop lip liner as usual in CTRL. I haven't opened these either, swatched it or anything. I was waiting to do everything on camera. The little bullet looks like her regular lipstick um, bullets that I already own. All right, let me take this off so I can swatch this. And so I'm not expecting a whole bunch of, um, and somebody told me to swatch it on my skin and not hair, which I was doing when I swatched lipstick. So this is it swatched. And yeah, it's lip shine is more of a sheer color. So let's just try it and see how it looks. Okay, this feels like a really, feels really, really nice, but it feels like, you know, I'm walking around with a really emollient chapstick, but it's Fenty, so I purchased it. So this is what, oh, she's single, right? No, that's Patrick Ta. This is Make Out Break. It's kind of cute. I think I need a little bit more lip liner, but. All right, I added some more lip liner and it doesn't look too bad, right? It's cute. But now that I've tried this one on, I don't think I need to try on the other one. Let's see. This is glazed number five. This has more of like a, they're pretty similar. Oh, this one is a little, this one is like actually pink. So this one is... My swatches are horrible. This one is more pink. So mm, I don't think I need to try this on, but I wanna try on that Patrick Ta lipstick. So let me take this off and then I'll try on the Patrick Ta. All right, for the Patrick Ta, I redid the lip liner and this is Oshi Single. This is like a beautiful peachy nude color. in love these are my kind of colors i think these type of shades with a nice brown lip liner looks very flattering on deep skin super pretty okay so he made up for that disaster well kind of disaster <laughs> with the um the cheek duos with the lipstick the lipstick is cute all right guys so this is the end of this video trying out all these products I must say I love the um, I love the foundation and um, I don't know where the concealer went from Beauty Bakery. Um, I can definitely see myself wearing this foundation. It seemed to be a very pretty everyday um, foundation, very light on the skin. I think it looks very natural, and I do like how the color looks on me now. Love the concealer, and I'm definitely going to try to get a lighter shade. The concealer is really good. Um, I love the baking powder as well. I think my under eye looks very flawless. It's not creasing. The concealer is not creasing. It doesn't look crepey, if that's a word. It looks very nice. Um, I'm disappointed in the Patrick Ta, these cheek duos, like I said. I mean, you can do what you want, but I don't recommend these. Um, love the Vanessa Merrick's light work two palette this is absolutely stunning i think this would be a great investment and especially to support a black brand and um the fenty lipsticks i picked it up because it was fenty and i figured oh i'll do it on my channel but um i could have passed on that <laughs> and that's one of the few fenty things i'm like eh it's okay i will wear it though i'll just you know for a quick little lip pout kind of shine but um not excited about it but wow I do love how the foundation and the concealer look. Everything turned out nice. My cheek does look nice. I think the Vanessa Myricks really popped it up, but um, the Patrick Ta, I'm just, 
if this is for a stores were open, I probably would have just walked in and take it back. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I'll take it back. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.